Hello gamers and welcome back to another Hypixel Skyblock video. I once again have been farming wheat. A lot more wheat. I got an extra 3 million on my wheat counter and an extra 3.6 million on my cultivating counter. Which means I'm only 3 million wheat away from the next upgrade. Which is gonna be the legendary rarity upgrade at 10 million counter. After that, the only thing left would be to craft it to tier 3. Anyways, before I get to the farming, there's actually something I want to try. So while holding my wheat hoe in my hand, and with my level 100 legendary elephant pet, I get 501 farming fortune. But if I get my farming tools on me, I'm gonna get 521. This is not a bug, by the way. It's supposed to happen. It's all thanks to the Farming for Dummies books. The way this thing works, it just gives an extra farming fortune. It doesn't require you to hold it in your hand, so if you have tools in your inventory that have the book, you're gonna get the extra farming fortune, even if you don't use the tool. For some reason, I have six tools, but it's only given me 20 extra farming fortune. It might be the axes, so I'm just gonna put a hoe away, and if it goes down, then it's the axes. Yeah, it's 516, so it is the axe. So I'm just gonna get my hoes on me and put away the axes. I just got an extra 20 farming fortune for free, so I'll take it. Also, because I'm farming wheat, gotta do this, that, 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 and now it's not gonna sound as bad. Oh yeah, right. This happened. The seven shiny relics have all been found. Now that it's active, we get a random buff for 20 minutes for the next two days. Currently we have the fairy soul infusion. I don't really care about that. The only thing I care about from this actually is the farming XP buff. We can get a 25% farming XP buff, which is gonna be pretty good because I'm actually super close to farming 53. Why is that not working? I'm not really surprised anymore. It's Hypixel Skyblock after all. The surprise would be if it actually worked. And we also get a brand new pet item. It's called the Flying Pig and it grants your pig pet the ability to fly while you're near your island. And you can break crops 50 blocks away. And you no longer need to hold a carrot on a stick to control your pig. That sounds super good, right? No, it's garbage. Because that would mean you're gonna have to use your pig pet and sacrifice your elephant pet. Wait, what the hell is happening? Oh, a new buff is being selected. What's it gonna be? <gasps> pog, dude, pog. Yeah, we just got an extra 25%, so I'm just gonna go straight to farming. Anyways, this flying pig thingy might be useful for uh, people who don't have a legendary elephant pet. Also, there is a bug where people can break crops on your island using this thing. Yeah, with the basket of seeds being disabled. Future interests here, and they removed it. Now it only grants you the ability to fly, and you no longer need the carrot on a stick. Instead of fixing it, they completely removed it. Good job, Hypixel. Good job. Anyways, I'm gonna take advantage of the free 25% extra farming XP. Now since I'm 3 million away from upgrading my hoe, it's gonna take me around 6 full harvests of my entire farm to get this to 10 million. Because I get around 500k from a full harvest, and it takes around an hour and a half to fully harvest this. I need to do that 6 times. I hate this. By the way, I completely forgot to do this at the beginning, but did you know only around 30% of the people that watch my videos are actually subscribed? Yeah, it's stupid. So if you end up enjoying watching me suffer for the next 10 or so minutes, then um, consider subscribing. It's right there. Literally. Thank you. I might end up getting two farming levels in this video again, just like last video. I'm super close to level 53 already, so I'm gonna have to go and upgrade my farming cap again. But until then, I'm just gonna have to keep farming wheat. I just realized that the next farming level is gonna require more than 5 million farming XP. That's still nothing compared to how much I need to get farming 60, but still. Only about 3,200 people made it to where I am right now in the farming scale. So I wonder how many people actually made it to farming 60. There we go, farming 53. That took slightly longer than I expected, but hey, it was over 100,000 farming XP. Anyways, now it's time to raise this farming cap once again, and I'm gonna need 100 Jacob's tickets. There we go. I can level this up three more times, so my actual farming cap is 57, because I still need gold medals and three other collections. Anyways, it's time to go back to farming and discover how much XP I'm actually going to need. 5.2 million. Not too bad, it's just an extra 300k. Wait, shrine buff is not active. We got another farming experience back to back. 
That's pretty pog. And you know what? I'm actually gonna go collect my melon minions right now. They don't have that many melons in them because I just collected them yesterday, but it should be a decent amount of farming XP. I'm also gonna get my melon dicer. I'm gonna explain why in a second. Most of you know that if you hold your stonk while claiming diamonds, you're gonna get slightly more mining experience. The same thing happens if you're holding your melon dicer when collecting melon minions because the Melon Dicer gives an extra 5% farming XP from melons, and it also works on minions. Also, last time I said that I have them at tier 11 and that they're maxed, tier 12 farming minions are a thing now. I forgot. Anyways, it's time to claim my minions. I'm actually gonna hold off on claiming the diamonds until we get a mining XP boost, so I'm only gonna claim the melons. I only got around 300k from that, but from a single day, that's pretty good. Wait, I just realized I'm getting 10 farming XP from a single wheat now. Before it was only around 8. I don't know what's going on, but I'm not complaining. That's free farming XP. Wait, am I using- oh yeah, I was just using the rapid pet. I'm, I'm stupid. I'm glad I noticed that quickly because I would have wasted a lot of wheat if I didn't. Anyways, I'm just gonna continue farming wheat. When I'm done, I'm probably gonna be slightly over 7.5 million because I have slightly more farming fortune with these tools that I'm used to, so I'm gonna get slightly more wheat. Maybe even over six stacks, who knows? Because I get around two stacks per layer. And the farming XP buff just expired. Now we're getting double mob drops. Sounds kinda useless to be honest. Cause I doubt that it works on actual drops that are worth it. Like Slayer drops or Dragon drops or whatever. I think it's only gonna be on like rotten flesh and bones and useless stuff like that. Doesn't really matter to me since I'm just gonna be farming either way. The farming experience is back. By the way, I'm participating in a melon contest because there is a wheat contest after this and if I just kept farming wheat, I would have been done with my farm before the contest had started. So I decided to take a break from wheat and farm melons because there is a melon contest. The melon contest has just ended, so I'm back to farming wheat. And since I'm about 30% into my second wheat layer, that's probably gonna be enough time for my first wheat layer to grow so I can harvest it and participate in the contest. No way! We just got another farming experience buff. Thanks to this, I'm probably gonna be at 1 million farming XP by the time I'm done with the contest. Yeah, already at 1 mil. I mean, currently I'm still at 700k, but I still have a full layer to be harvested. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get over 150k. It just ended, and we get double pet stats. Imagine if it doubled abilities as well. I would have 360 farming fortune just from my elephant pet, but unfortunately that's not how it works. It just doubles the stats. Anyways, there is only around a minute left till the contest and I still have a couple of rows on my third layer. So it's probably gonna start while I'm still here and then I can go back to my first layer, which is probably ready for harvest already because it's been over an hour since I farmed it. And there we go, the contest has just started. It hasn't even been a minute, and I'm already gold. I mean, that's to be expected. But after this contest, I'm gonna have over 7.5 million on my wheat counter, which means just another five full harvests of the farm, and my hose rarity will be upgraded to legendary. I just got enchanted hay bale in my hotbar, which means I got over six stacks, and I still have a row to complete in my third layer, so I am getting over two stacks per layer now. I don't know if it's due to the extra farming fortune, or to my farming level, or both, but yeah, I'm getting more wheat than I used to. There we go, that's just done. But that doesn't mean I'm done, I still have 13 minutes in the contest and my first layer is ready to be harvested again. It seems like I'm probably gonna get 1 million XP before the contest ends, but I just reached 100k weed and I still have 6 minutes to go in the contest. I might actually break my personal record. Oh, we just got another double pet stat shrine. Kinda cringe, not gonna lie, I was hoping for another farming XP buff, but I guess I'm not that lucky. Alright, time to check if I did it. And yes, I did. My previous record was 143,000 with the same exact hoe, and I got an extra 5,000 wheat. Sure, it's not much, but if this was any other crops, that difference would be huge. Are you kidding me? I'm 500 XP away from 1 million? You know what? I'm just gonna farm wheat in the lobby. And there we go, 1 million farming XP. I am the top 3,073rd player out of 9.5 million. Also, look at this, top 0% in wheat collection. I still have a couple of rows to farm on the first layer, so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna take a break. I just finished harvesting the entire farm for the second time. Also, I lied, I didn't take a break, but now I will because my hoe is at eight 
million wheat. And my cultivating is almost halfway to cultivating nine because I'm gonna need 20 million to get cultivating nine. Alright gamers, I just got my hoe to 9 million, but before I continue farming, there is a farming upgrade I completely forgot about. I'm of course talking about the farmhand upgrade. I have it at 20% right now, but since I have 115 gold medals just laying around, might as well upgrade it. My 68 tickets are definitely not enough, so I'm gonna have to claim my 49 unclaimed contest rewards, with the vast majority being gold. And I'm done. Before I start upgrading though, I just want to see how much these tickets are worth. It's 7.9 million coins for almost 1200 tickets. A couple months ago, this would probably go for like 20 million coins, but now it's only at 7.9. Anyway, it's time to start upgrading this. I think the max for this is like 30% and I have it at 26% now because I was able to upgrade it three times. By the way, I got a bunch of comments on my last video about my Discord link not working. It's not my fault. I don't know what's going on. The link works perfectly fine for me and for a lot of other people because we're still getting new members through the same exact link, but it doesn't work for other people. I tried creating a new link, but I just get the same exact link back. So Discord is just being stupid, I guess. Not as stupid as Hypixel not enabling Basket of Seeds though. I really don't understand why Basket of Seeds is not enabled already. Because backpacks are already fixed and so is the Ender Chest. Anyways, after this contest I'm probably gonna be at 2.6 million farming XP, which is halfway to farming 54 by the way. Alright, the contest just ended and I obviously got gold. And there it is, 50% of the way to farming 54. Also. I'm in the top 3,000 players when it comes to farming now. I wonder about my wheat collection though. Bruh, I'm in the top 1k. I guess that really shows how much people hate wheat. Anyways, my hoe is at 9.2 million, so just another 800k on my counter until it's upgraded. By the way, if you're wondering why my farm is not 100% infinite at three layers, that's because I only have the free island upgrade. So if you have the free island upgrade or the default island size, you're gonna need four or five layers for your farm to be infinite. If you have the max island size, I'm pretty sure only three layers is more than enough. Anyways, back to the endless farming. 10, 10 million wheat. And there it is legendary hoe. But obviously, I'm not stopping here. I need to craft a tier 3 for it to be mythic. And now have 51 tightly tight hay bale in total. I still need 13 because I want to farm at least one stack by myself. I was not expecting this, but it took an extra 2.3 million on my weed counter in order for me to get a full stack of tightly tight hay bale. But that's just one fourth of the total amount that I need. Just wondering though, how much does that cost? For, for, 46 million? I'm gonna need nearly 140 million for just three stacks. Me and my co-op only have 30 million combined. I'm gonna leave 10 million in the bank because I don't want my co-op to be broke, but I've been preparing for this for a while. And if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know exactly what's in these chests. I have two chests of enchanted clay, a double chest of enchanted snow, a double chest of enchanted diamonds with 32 diamond blocks and also 25 refined diamonds. I thought I was being smart converting my diamond blocks into refined diamonds, but I was wrong. They're cheaper. With clay, it's better to sell to NPC shops, so I'm just gonna sell it. I'm gonna put this stuff away, just so I don't accidentally sell it. Now it's time for the snow. For the diamonds, I'm not really sure if it's better to sell to bazaar or NPC shop, so I'm gonna check. It's better to sell my diamond blocks at NPC shop, so boop. Same with enchanted diamonds. For these, they're basically worthless at NPC shop, but in the bazaar, they're worth 
9.8 million. This is 50 enchanted diamond blocks, by the way. But obviously, that's not enough. So I'm gonna have to pay a visit to my good old friend. It's where I keep my farming stuff. And since I've only been farming wheat lately, I don't have much. I used a lot of my sugarcane to get alchemy 50 and I sold the rest and I haven't farmed it ever since. So that's why I only have 10, but I do have a decent amount of polished pumpkins, enchanted golden carrots, and I got a lot of melons from my minions. And since I didn't sell my baked potatoes last time, I still have a lot. I'm gonna start by selling my sugarcane because it's probably the cheapest at half a million coins. My pumpkins are gonna get me 10.7 million coins. Golden carrots are 5.2 million coins. Melons are 8.3 million. Potatoes are 10.4 million. But I'm not gonna sell them like this. I'm gonna make them into hot potato books and then sell them for extra money because I need it. I really do. That wasn't as painful as it used to be for some reason. Anyways, I'm done putting everything in the bazaar and I already have 16.3 millions to claim, but I still have more stuff to sell. Remember these? Yeah, I'm also gonna be selling the turbo enchants I got from the contests. Speaking of which, I have six more contests to claim and I also broke my personal record. Oh yeah, I also made it to farming 54, so uh, I have to raise my farming cap again. And now it's time to combine them. This is gonna be painful. And now it's time to sell all of this stuff. I'm gonna start with the tier ones. Turbo pumpkin one is 145k. That's a lot for tier one. Turbo cane one is 75k. Turbo warts is stupidly cheap at 29k. Now it's time for the tier two. Turbo pumpkin two is 220k. Turbo carrot two is 260k. Turbo cane two is 145k. Turbo weed two is 148k. Now it's time for the tier 3. Turbo Carrot is 735k for a tier 3. Turbo Wheat 3 is dirt cheap at 175k. That's because you can literally get bronze or silver farming in a lobby, so I'm not that surprised. Turbo Pumpkin 3 is half a million. Turbo Cane 3 is 300k. Now it's time for the tier 4s. Turbo Potato 4 is 550k. Turbo Wheat 4 is 450k, which is a decent price to be honest. And finally, the only tier 5, which is Turbo Melon, goes for 2.2 million nice. coins. I already have basically 25 million to claim in the bazaar. None of my sugarcane sold. My melon order is filled, so are my golden carrots. My pumpkins barely sold anything, and most of my hot potato books are not selling. The refined diamonds surprisingly sold a lot. Anyways, I'm just gonna set these back up in the bazaar. And I'm gonna go sleep. It's 2 a.m. Yeah. By the way, no I didn't forget about my 142 gold medals. It's just that I need tickets in order to buy items. I don't know if you noticed, but I recently used all of my tickets. Anyways, my bazaar orders are all filled, except for the refined diamonds, and I already claimed them because I'm an idiot. In total, I got 36 million coins to claim from the bazaar. I really don't understand why there is no claim all button, so I'm gonna have to claim everything manually. And I have 3.7 million in the auction house. Oh, the turbo melon didn't sell. That explains it. But even if everything sold, it's nowhere near enough. I need around 150 million coins in order to buy the three remaining stacks. So how am I gonna do that? It's been ages since I've done this, but I'm planning to bizarre flip. And right now, buying 144 enchanted eggs and crafting them into a super enchanted egg and then selling it after that is super profitable, so I'm gonna do that for a while if I can. I can even instantly sell the egg and I still make profit, but I'm not gonna do that, I'm just gonna create a sell order. Now it's time to do that in bulk. This is kinda taking forever, so I'm just gonna check if I make profit by instantly buying the eggs. So if I buy 144 eggs instantly, it's gonna cost me 307,000 coins. And if I create a sell order for the super enchanted egg, it's gonna be 335k. So I still make profit, even if I instantly buy the eggs. I've been flipping for basically two days now. I flipped all sorts of stuff. I did super enchanted eggs for a while, but then I got bored. So I started crafting super compactors and then selling them. But that also got boring. Then I moved to flipping fuming potato books because I get around 30k per flip, which is pretty good. And now I'm sitting at 100 million coins. Also my book sold, so I'm gonna claim that. I had 82 million coins before I started flipping, so I got around 18 million coins from flipping. But I can't do it anymore. Somehow bizarre flipping is more boring than farming, so I'm gonna stop. Instead, I asked my co-op if I can sell his stuff. 
and he agreed. He got slightly over half a stack of polished pumpkins, slightly under a stack of mutant nether wart, over 4 stacks of enchanted golden carrots, over 2 stacks of enchanted baked potatoes, slightly under 7 stacks of enchanted melon blocks, over 2 stacks of enchanted sugarcane, and 59 enchanted diamond blocks. I really didn't want to resort to this, but hey, he's my co-op. Starting off with the enchanted golden carrots at 12.8 million coins, enchanted sugarcane at 7.2 million coins, polished pumpkins are 4 million coins, nether warts is probably the cheapest at 2.2 million coins, for the diamonds it's better to sell to NPC shop, but for the enchanted diamond blocks, I get slightly more coins if I create a sell order, so I'm gonna do that. The enchanted melons are slightly under 11 million coins, and for the potatoes, I need to craft them into hot potato books. I just finished setting everything up. Also, I got a carpentry level. Yeah, possibly the most useless skill. I think this is enough. All right, I'm just gonna claim everything, and if something didn't sell, I'm just gonna give it back to my co-op, because I probably have enough coins already. All right, they don't stack. Alright, now that I have 130 million coins, so I can set up a buy order for 3 stacks of tightly tied hay bale. It's gonna cost me 116 million coins to set this up. There we go. I'm really hoping this order fills overnight because I really don't want to instant buy this. While that's happening, I'm gonna go farm some wheat. I'm kinda close to top 500 in wheat collection and it would be a nice flex, so yeah. I'm also getting wheat in the process, so I won't have to waste as many coins. And I might actually make it to cultivating 9 because I'm only 5 million away. Someone else set up an order for 150 tightly tied hay bale. They're either as dumb as I am and are trying to craft a tier 3 wheat hoe, or they're just flipping it for easy profit. Anyways, I'm just gonna cancel my order and set it up again. I farmed so much wheat that I don't even remember when I started. I made it to the top 500 players in wheat collection somehow. For some reason it's only at 5.6 million when I have 16.1 million on my wheat hoe. And I know for a fact no one else used this hoe, so I don't understand why I only have 5.6 million. Also I leveled up in farming! Again. I was not expecting that, but it happened. And by some miracle, my order actually filled. I was able to buy the remaining three stacks from the bazaar. It cost me a fortune, but it saved me a lot of time. Kinda late though, because I already grinded 21 tightly tied hay bale and made it to top 500. Anyways, it's time to finally craft the tier three wheat hoe. I just want to see how much money this is worth. Right now, they're worth 136 million coins for some reason. They're usually around 180 million coins for four stacks. They're only 206. I, I bought them for like 600k each, bruh. I don't know why, but they dropped in price big time. And the tickets are 1.8 million. I'm really hoping I get this crafting recipe right because every single time I try to craft a tier three hoe, I always mess it up. Please tell me this is it. God damn it. Ignoring that, there it is. Boom. Wait, did I? I think I just got a million carpenter XP from that. Oh my god, what? Boom. Totally worth it. Yeah, 200 million down the drain. <laughs> Let me just explain to you how stupidly expensive this tool is. To craft the tier 3, just in terms of resources, it's around 180 million. Normally. Anyways, then we have the Recombobulator, the Blessed Reforge, the Replenish Enchant, the Cultivating Enchant, the Delicate Enchant, Turbo Wheat 5, Harvesting 6, the Farming for Dummies books, I think that's it. And all of that combined is around 200 million coins. Normally. I don't know why it's cheap now. Don't blame me, okay? Leave me alone. Anyways, as usual, there is a wheat contest happening in 5 minutes, so I'm gonna go farm and see how much wheat I'm gonna get with this hoe. Because with this hoe, I'm supposed to get 25% more wheat than my previous hoe. Alright, the final contest has just started. I also have all of my hoes on me, so I'm getting that sweet 20 extra farming fortune. And I'm gonna have to remember to raise my farming level cap after this. But after this contest, or during the contest, I'm gonna have Cultivating 9 on my wheat hoe. My first tool to reach Cultivating 9 is a wheat hoe. Yeah, it's kind of sad. Okay, this is actually insane. 
I'm at 90,000 weed with 10 minutes remaining in the contest. At this rate, I'm probably gonna end up at 180k. I'm pretty sure my previous record was around 156k, so if I get 100k, that's a big difference. For some reason, I'm nervous farming with a 200 million hoe, so yeah, my turns are not as smooth as usual, so that might be affecting the result a little bit, but I still got 90,000 wheat in 10 minutes. For any other crop except pumpkins, that is hot smoking garbage, but for wheat, that's unheard of, at least for me. Oh my god, cultivating nine. And now, it's the moment of truth. I obviously broke my previous record, which was 165,655 wheat. I'm too lazy to do the math, but that is a huge difference. Does that mean it's worth it? Definitely not. Complete waste of money, complete waste of time. Don't do this, please don't do it. But hey, I got enough wheat to craft a tightly tied hay bale in a single contest. That's pretty neat. Oh yeah, and also I need to upgrade that. I doubt the two unclaimed contests will give me enough tickets. I'm just gonna buy the tickets, I guess. Wait, a stack is half a million? Yeah, no thank you. I'll grind for it. It's been ages since this happened, but we got no donators. Very pog. So I just want to give a huge thank you to Banana Man the Third and TJMJ. Very, very pog. Donations are appreciated, but you don't have to. A lot of stuff happened during this week. Yes, this video took a week to record. I know. First of all, I leveled up my farming skill three times, and now I'm in the top 2,500 players when it comes to farming, and I made it to top 500 in wheat collection. 5,000 likes for top 100? Question mark? Yeah, no, I'm just kidding, that's not happening. But most importantly, I crafted the most pointless tool in the game. A tier 3 wheat hoe. I called it pointless because I can literally get gold with a rookie hoe. But hey, probably less people have this than Hyperion, so it's a cool flex. But what's even crazier is the fact that you watched till the very end. So, thank you so much for watching gamers, and I'll see you later. Peace.